We're gamers united, where we're gonna play games. You know we're gonna have fun. Plus, we share our game play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gamers United. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of DuckTales Remastered. Uh, last episode, let's see, we went through Transylvania Castle and we went through the African Mines in the Inner Earth. Uh, this episode, I'm hoping to get, I think, the Himalayas and the Moon. High in the snow and high in the sky. Pack my parka, Duckworth. We're headed for the Himalayas to hunt for the lost clone of Genghis Khan. Shall I forward your call, sir? Pretty Himalayan marmots. Oh, not this time, Willie, darling. I need you here looking after the boys. Otherwise, who knows what kind of trouble they might get into. Oh, that's very smart. Uncle Scrooge! Indulge me, lads. The last thing this expedition needs is a wee lass about. Oh, I'm going to have enough trouble looking after the launch pad. I like how each level has their own characters. Ooh, we got these hockey skating guys. Okay, I am. Um... Launch pad. I told you to land in the center of the mountain range, not in the center of a mountain. Gee, Mr. McTee, I thought that crash was rock solid. The only rocks around here are the ones inside your head. Ugh, oh, we're nowhere near Shadow Pass and the Lost Crown. Now fix this wreck so we can get airborne. And step on it, lad. I'm paying you by the hour, and I'll not have you billing me for overtime. No problem, boss. As long as I have this fuel regulator, we're as good as... Whoopsie-daisy! Oops. <laughs> uh, my mom always said I was a Butterfingers. <laughs> oh, no. Please tell me you've got another one of those. Sure, I do. But it's back in Duckburg. Launch pad! Don't worry, Mr. McDee. I'll climb down and get it. You'll do no such thing. I'll get it. You stay here and try not to cause any more damage. Okay. You're the boss. Oh, there's Webby. I think this is the first level I would, I would always play. And this is the level you, like, if you do the cave thing in there, you get trapped. It's a diamond the size of the, 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 the Mrs. Beatty. Yeah, the, oh, yeah, the... It's mine! Oh, man. You gotta be smart. Why didn't I get to be number one by back and boom? Oh, they're all down there. This must be worth a small fortune. It's mine. Last it defeated. Coming to ice. There's else under there. Remember, we can't do our, uh, bouncing thing. Unless we bounce on these guys, maybe? But... Why didn't they get rich by being foolish? There's that Ha-ha! <laughs> Jackpot! Here, now, don't touch that. I need it to fix my plane. Stop! Oh, it's too late. Those bunny bandits have torn it apart. 
I've got to find those pieces fast! Oh yeah, that's where those uh, blocks are. Morning glory! <laughs> now to find the other two pieces. Seven hearts now. This part's scary because we have no uh flips. It's the second piece of the fuel regulator. One more piece to find and we can get out of this overgrown ice box. A duck. Looks like that poor little pea brain got caught in a deep freeze. Scrooge is here to help. Scoot say Baba! Scoot say Baba! Scoot say Baba! Baba help Scrooge! Baba help Scrooge forever! You know, I could use a bit of help smashing away this giant ice box. What do you say, Baba? Ooga, ooga. In that case, follow me, lad! Mama's <laughs> 
the end of the line, Bubba. It's time for you to head to the surface. Bubba home with Scrooge? Aye. Launch pad is waiting to take you home to Duckburg. On your way now. <coughs> Alright, so we need one more of these guys. Up I go. the ducks the last one now to get this fuel regulator back to launch pad onward and upward this old duck still got it Here you go, Launchpad. Good as new. Now get this bucket of bolts back in the sky. Just a tick, Mr. McD. Uh, this uh, ought to do it. Now there's your problem. Webergale, what in the world are you doing here? I wanted to see the pretty crown, Uncle Scrooge. Oh, great. Now I've got to babysit you and Launchpad. We're ready for liftoff, Mr. McD. And not a moment too soon. Stop in tight, baby dear. Off we go. Nothing but blue skies ahead. Clear as a bell. Not a cloud in sight. Launch pad. Knock off that infernal chatter. Gee whiz. I was only trying to lighten the mood. If anything, we need to lighten the plane. Feels like she's lost maneuverability with all the, uh... Unexpected cargo we seem to have picked up. No worries, Mr. McGee. I've got the coordinates for Shadow Pass locked in. We'll be there lickety split. More like lickety splat. Glomgold. Nice to see you, my duck. Especially since you've led me right to the treasure. To whom do I owe my thanks? Your idiotic pilot. Or did you play it safe and let those two wee ones fly the plane? You dusty cheat. Only you could sink so low. And at 15,000 feet, no less. Complain all you like. 
The lost crown of Genghis Khan will look right at home on my feathered noggin. Wouldn't you say, Scroogey? <laughs> That's what you think. You'll never beat us to Shadow Pass. So, the crown is in Shadow Pass, eh? Thanks for telling me. <laughs> Launch pad! Come on, boys. One old duck with a cane shouldn't be any trouble to take down. Be careful, Uncle Scrooge! Here comes a ten megaton finder's fee, McDuck. Ouch! Turn a profit on this, McDuck! Knock it off, McDuck! Usually for a ride like this, you have to buy a ticket. Hurry, you fools! He's catching up! <laughs> you haven't seen the last of me, McDuck! Take that, you big old meanie! We sure showed him that cheaters never cheat and winners never win, didn't we? Try it the other way around and I couldn't agree more, Webby. Pickle me, pin feathers, there it is. Shadow pass Cheers directly ahead. Never Take us down, Launchpad. Slow and steady this time. No problem, old Mr. McD. We're close to that treasure now. I can almost smell it. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> That definitely wasn't me. Whatever it is, it won't last long if it tries to get between me and the lost crown. Uncle Scrooge, don't go! Dinner worry, lassie. Whatever is in that cave is no match for your Uncle Scrooge. I earn my fortune by being smarter than the smarties, smarties and tougher uh, than the toughies. toughies. If anything's in there, it had better step aside. But I'm scared! Stay with Launchpad. He'll take good care of you.
It's like running from the IRS. <laughs> Be nice, Uncle Scrooge. That poor fuzzy lady didn't mean any harm, did you, ma'am? Ma'am, don't be daft, lass. This monster tried to pummel me. Why, I nearly cashed my last check. Oh, I know, ma'am. But Uncle Scrooge is really nice once you get to know him. Webby, you understand this creature? Of course, Uncle Scrooge. It's all in the Junior Woodchuck Guidebook. <laughs> What's she saying now? She says she's sorry if she hurt you. She's just upset because she stepped on a thorn. I can't get it out. A thorn? <gasps> you don't suppose... Here's your thorn, Webbygale! Ha 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 ha! The lost crown of Genghis Khan! The pretty crown! <laughs> you found it! Hey, the poor creature was standing on it. Webby, I cannot thank you enough. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Without your help, we never would have found the treasure. Oh, uh, and thanks to you too, ma'am. <laughs> Uncle Scrooge. Well, that's odd. Usually it's me the ladies go gaga for. Hey, well, let's get home before she grows any fonder of me. Genghis Khan is mine, lads. <laughs> All it took was a bit of tenacity and perseverance. And a little kindness and patience. Right, Uncle Scrooge? Right you are, Webby darling. Now, where's Bubba run off to? Yeah, where is he? He was here a minute ago. Why does no answer Bubba? He's over there having a tea party with Webby's toys. No? Bubba smash! Uh-oh, Wimmy. Sounds like Bubba's not getting along so good with your Quacky Patch dolls. <gasps> you keep away from my dolls, mister! Uh, remember, kindness and patience, Webigale. Set a good example for the lad. Well then, what treasure shall we look for next? The oh, treasure? Uh, should we go to the moon or the moon? Alright, last level, or... It's a long way to the moon, lads. But the green cheese of longevity will make it worth the trip. Up, up, and away! <laughs> Alright, we got Quentin Crackshell and um, Gyro Gearloose. When we got Quentin, we got Gizmoduck! And we got the awesome, most awesome soundtrack ever known to the NES library and an awesome more awesome remix on the Wii U gosh Mr. McDuck mm, I've never been to the moon before <laughs> well when it comes to space cadets Fenton you're a natural <laughs> now gyro why in blazes are we chewing this awful blue muck <laughs> Why, that's Oxy-Chew, Mr. McDuck. It's my latest invention, oxygen-flavored taffy. Five good chews and you can breathe on the lunar surface without a spacesuit. Oh, and it tastes great, too. That, Gyro, is a matter of opinion. <laughs> now, which way to the green cheese? What do you mean? 
Isn't it all around us? Yeah? How do you figure? Everybody knows the whole moon's made of cream cheese. Well, that's what my dear mama said. And you could take a feather brain like you to believe her. Ugh, sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna... Wait, what's that? Look, here's someone who can give us directions. Hello? Ah, Mr. McDuck! Help! Oh no, we've got to save him! Do we really? We do if you want to find that treasure of yours, Mr. McDuck. Fenton was carrying the Gizmo Duck suit. That's the only thing we've got powerful enough to break into the moon vault. All right, fine. Stay here and guard the supplies while I look for that bumbling bookkeeper. Here we go. Number one, my back and boon. Looks like the same spaceship that took off with Fenton. Well, <laughs> I guess this means I'm invited on board. episode where uh, Fenton learns to really harness being Gizmo Duck. This is the episode where uh, it's like a fight part of uh, when Gizmo Duck is invented or made in the show. Uh, this is when that all screwed his money is in the by some aliens, I believe. They're robots and they just call it uh, meaningless plastic or something. And also, a um, second Easter egg. Um, Blast me, bagpipes! If you see the DuckTales 2017 oh, uh, if only I had a way to open this door. cartoon, they, um, they, they made um, a lullaby um, with uh, the song. I won't go too much in detail. I mean, I, I, I think that's probably enough to explain, but... There is, uh... They actually put some lyrics to it. Yippee! It's pretty cool. Fenton! Get down from there, and stop embarrassing yourself. Mr. McDuck! Thank goodness you're here! I think those aliens wanted to suck out my brain and make an army of Fenton clones. Bah, they'd soon learn that one of you is one too many. <laughs> now, help me find a security override so we can get to your gizmo duck suit. You mean this? Security system disengaged. Fenton, you're a genius! Gee, Mr. McDuck, do you mean it? Oops. Warning. Damage report. Artificial gravity system is offline. Fenton, you're a nincompoop. 
You broke the gravity controls. Not to worry. I'll have it fixed in a jiffy. I got a level three certificate of technology from Happy Ducky University, you know. Oh, no, you don't. You'll probably slam into the self-destruct button, too. I'll get us out of this. Gravity system restored. All systems normal. Nice work, Mr. McDuck. Now, let's go get my Gizmo Duck suit. Not so fast, Dunderhead. You go wait with Gyro. I'll find a Gizmo Duck suit myself. Like I found Gizmo Duck's armored suit. It's a good thing Gyro rigged up this hyperspace pocket for me to carry things around in. No, only two more parts to find, and we can break into that moon vault. Up 
priceless ruby. Are you here, Mrs. Beakley? Because we need food. Wheel. I've always wondered what Gyro was thinking when he designed this thing. Who fights crime with a unicycle? Now just one more path to find and I can get off this flying monstrosity. I didn't get rich by being foolish. Duck's helmet! Oh, if I didn't know better, I'd swear Fenton actually gets smarter when he wears this thing. Oh, maybe I'm a wee bit too hard on the lad. Now that I've got all three parts, I can head back to Fenton and Gyro. Oh, I hope it's not too late. to find all of Gizmo Duck's suit. <laughs> oh boy! Now we can blast into the treasure vault! Just a moment, Fenton. <clears throat> Gyro, I, uh, I think I left my favorite two dollar bill under the back seat. <laughs> Would you mind getting it for me? Sure thing, Mr. McDuck. Gee, boss, why'd you send Gyro back onto the ship? So he doesn't find out you're Gizmo Duck when you put on that suit, you dunderhead. But there are only three of us here, sir. Won't he figure it out anyway when Gizmo Duck appears and I've mysteriously vanished? I wouldn't he worry about that. Gyro may be a brilliant inventor, but his deductive reasoning skills are about as good as yours. Oh! Hey! Would you just get on with it? Say your secret code word and activate that confounded contraption. Code word? Gee, I can't remember it. Oh, blather and blather, Skype, I'm useless. I mean, I'm useful to the extreme. Point me toward the offending blockade so that I might deal justice upon it. Cut the dramatics, would you, and follow me. Mr. McDuck? Fenton? Gizmo Duck? 
<sighs> They're gone. And all I could find was this two million dollar bill. Oh well, back under the seat it goes. Gyro's calculation said the green cheese of longevity lies just beyond this door. Step aside, citizen, whilst I blast the door asunder! In other words. How was that, Mr. Mc... I mean, well, the path is clear, good sir! Good work, Gizmoduck. No? Flinthout Glumgold. What are you doing here, you pernicious pilferer? Why, same as you, Scroogey. Trying to corner a new segment of the dairy market. <laughs> Why, you... How did you find out about the green cheese? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> well, thanks for saving me the trouble of blasting through that door on my own. I'll stop him, Mr. McGuck! Halt, evildoer! No, Gizmoduck. I need you to help me deal with the... Uh... Beagle Boys. Bah!
can't be merry. I made it here first. No, not the cheese. Anything but that. Great Scott. I thought that stuff was supposed to be an anti-aging culture, not an instant growth fungus. Giant moon rat or no giant moon rat, nothing's going to keep this duck from that green cheese and all the green it's going to make me. <laughs> So we have probably one more episode left to do. Um, I'm going to pause it right here, just in case. Um, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Game on and take care. Bye, guys. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Both me and Chelsea greatly appreciate it. Um, if you want to subscribe to this channel, see more content, that's cool. If not, that's cool as well. Um, I'm a gamer who likes to play games, talk games, love games, breathe games, all that fun jazz. But uh, everyone out there, have a wonderful night. Take care. And game on, gamers. Bye! Bye!